we're gonna be doing a boss paper question um you have been supplied with the following source files okay m23 evidence rtf houses csv markups comp dot csv so these are the files which you're provided with just gonna put this here on desktop so it's easier to see let's just create a new folder called revision and put everything inside that so we have a screenshot here as well which i don't think is relevant i'll just take this out and these two things are not relevant okay so now we have these files which are source files and our question says open the file evidence.rtf make sure your name center number candidate number will appear on every page of this document so how do you do that so go to your um source files open evidence enable editing and then double click on the top you'll get header go to this option header section add three columns okay here you write your name for example here i'll write my name then you have to write your center number so we'll write for example ae125 123 and your candidate number for example it's um ar2323 okay so you write it like this and you can see here that it shows up in every single page go to the next page you can see it shows here as well okay save this document in your work area as this followed by the candidate number for example this you'll need to place screenshots in this document for the evidence you are instructed to produce so you go here click on files save as um press on browse go to desktop click on the folder which you created then you add your id here for example ae323 and my evidence has been renamed to evidence ae323 and we're going to change this format to word document okay and save it your document will be upgraded to the newest format okay so now i'm just gonna close it and reopen my new file again okay so let's just open this and you can see here my header is there with my name center number and candidate number so we're gonna go back to the question task 2 says which is about word document you are going to produce a report for this education about STEM subjects. Uh, the company uses a corporate house style for all their documents. All their documents. Um, paragraph style must be created and applied as instructed. The body style has already been applied to the whole document. You must not amend the style. Using suitable software, open stem.rtf. So I'm just going to go here, go to stem.rtf. You can see here from type RTF, rich text format. And we're going to open this. Okay, so th th this is the file which is given to us. Now I'll go back to the question paper. It says that... Um, the page setup is set to A4 size 
landscape orientation with 2 cm margins. Do not make any changes to the settings. Save the document in your work area as the file name stem news. So we go here, click on file, save as, go on browse and go to desktop. Click on the folder you created and we are going to write here stem news and press enter. Um, make sure you save it in the format of the software you are using. Okay, so you have to save it as a Word document, not an RTF. So I'm just going to go here, stem news, and then change it to Word document and save. Again, it's showing the same message. I'll just click OK. Now go here. And I'm just going to delete this one. Let's just close this. And delete this one. And open this. Okay. Next step says that make sure it is saved in the format of the software you're using. Place in your evidence document a screenshot to show this file has been saved. Make sure the evidence has file type in it so we go here to our folder actually i'm going to create a new folder by my name um let me other a323 okay and paste it here okay both of them are open that's fine that's fine no no issues we can just delete this stem news this one control c and we are just gonna open it as other ae323 and i'm just gonna paste it here okay so this is the file we have and we had made changes up I'm just gonna close this and close this as well okay now first of all what you do is take a screenshot of this It says in the question, make sure that there's evidence of the file type. So you click, double click on this. It will show the whole um, type, Microsoft Word document. So take a screenshot of this. And we copy it. Go here to evidences. And you can see here step one, evidence one. So you paste it here. Next. Okay. Place in the footer of STEM news document, automated page number, left aligned, your name, center number, and candidate number, right aligned. Okay. So what you have to do is open this file. Go to the footer, click on footer section here, and put three columns. Okay, so here it says left aligned should be automated page number. So you go here, go to document information, document information, and then field. Scroll down to P, and there will be something as page number. So you just put it as format as the first option. Or you can use as use default numbering. I'm just gonna use the first one the first option. And you can see here the first page is numbered as one, second page is numbered as two, and the third page is numbered as three. Your name, center number, and candidate number right aligned. So I'll just put my name here name, center number, and candidate number, right aligned. So on right side, I have put my name, my center number, and my candidate number, right aligned. Okay, 
Next, what does it say? Make sure all alignments match the page margin. No other text is included in the footer area. The footer is displayed on all pages. So what you have to do is double click here and delete the center thing because they don't want any other text to be appearing in the footer and scroll down check page number and candidate um candidate number candidate name and center numbers showing up okay third here it says that create and store the following styles basing each of the default normal paragraph style so this is very easy to create style so you go here on style section click on home tab go to style section click on this arrow and create a new style now they say that first um, style name is st subhead so i'll just take this st subhead and create a style it should be sans serif what is sans serif sans serif is uh, okay after doing this what you have to do is modify it okay click on modify don't just click on okay because you have to um, change some things settings for this style so sans serif what is example of than the riff. so we have um, a sample for sans serif as um, times new roman no it's not times new roman it's area i believe it's area yes it's area okay so we keep it as area just gonna keep it as area um font size as 14 so we go here change it to 14 um alignment as center align so click on center here um, enhancement all capital both so you go here on format click on i think it's text effect no it's not okay so you go on fonts all caps click ok and it should be bold as well so click on bold then line spacing as single so line spacing how do you change that go to format paragraph here you can see spacing line spacing is set as single spacing before is zero so spacing before zero and spacing after should be nine so we change this to nine okay and then we just click okay so we have done that okay next we have is it says take a screenshot to show you have defined the setting for sd subhead style so what I will do is right click on this, modify, take a screenshot of this. Copy it. Go to my evidence file. Paste it here. Make it a bit smaller to see okay next they asked us for formatting as well so i'll just go here modify go on format we change for font and we even changed for paragraph so i'll just go here copy this and cancel Go to Word document, paste it again, make it a bit smaller so that it's easier to see. Don't make it too small because you're going to be printing it out and the examiner will not have the option to resize your evidence. 
so it's going to be the printout they're going to be looking at so make sure if you're printing it out it, it looks normal and they can easily read it okay uh next we have is for paragraph as well okay format paragraph and you just take a screenshot of this because we have changed the line spacing and um, alignment as well so just take a screenshot of this and we're gonna be placing in the evidence file okay now we are done with that uh, we have to create two more fonts which is sd table and sd bullet so we again go here click on create a style sd table table t is small and okay sorry modify again okay um, it should be serif so times new roman um, font size as 11 and it should be left alignment italic and it should be single spacing before and after also zero so format paragraph spacing as single before after as zero as well so press ok and we're done with this we don't have to take screenshot of each and everything so i believe um this one is correct okay so we don't need to take screenshot of these two sd bullet we have to create so go here create a style sd and then bu double -E bullet okay modify then go to font style which is going to be serif okay 11 then left okay it should be square shaped bullets aligned to left margin so you um, keep it as left margin go here format numbering here you can see bullets so you put it as square and click ok um it doesn't say bold or anything okay now line spacing we have to change again so go here format paragraph uh spacing a single before after zero okay we're done we're done with these these three okay now display the name style names created in step three as a list in style manager or organizer take a screenshot to show that you have created named and save these styles so what you do is click on this uh, go to home page go on style section click on click on the small arrow it will show you a list here you can see you created st subhead st bullet and st table i think yeah so what you do is take a screenshot of this and place it in your evidence file So I'm going to go to my evidence file and place it in step 4. Okay. Now, the style SD title has already been created, has already been created and stored. So modify the style SD title so the following formatting is applied. I'm going to go back to the word file. SD title is here. So I'm just going to right click on this, modify go back to the question paper okay it should be sans serif uh, which means area and 36 font size okay it should be sans serif area 35 font size 36 font size okay 36 font size um center alignment bold underline bold underline single line spacing before after also zero so you go to format paragraph before after zero and single line spacing 
Okay. Apply this style to text to our school STEM development. Okay. So title, we are going to put it as this. Okay. Go here. We are going to put this as title. Okay. Place in your evidence a screenshot of style setting of ST style. Um, SD title style to show the changes you have made. So what changes we have made? We just go here, right click, modify, click on format, go to paragraph. So we have made these changes. First of all, nine spacing and these changes. So I'm just gonna take a screenshot of both together. Here you go. Copy. Go to my evidence file. Just close this evidence web 5 evidence 4 so here paragraph and modify style both of them are there okay next question what does it say um below the title add subtitle innovations in science education so we're gonna go down Innovations in science S C I E N C education. Okay, the style S D subtitle has already been created and stored. Apply this to the text you have entered in step six. So we go here, highlight this. There's something called S D subhead. Okay, just make it like this. Okay, it's subhead, not subtitle. Okay, so for that to show up, just click on the list. SC subtitle is here. Understood? SC subtitle is not showing up here. I don't know why, but it shows in the list. So, so make sure you're looking for the list as well. So, signs education should e should be big education okay um question eight says apply the sd bullet style to the text form working in teams to development solution okay there's something as working in teams and developing own solutions okay which one should we add SD bullet okay go to the list again here you can see SD bullet just apply this here question 9 says identify seven subheadings in the document and apply SD subhead style to each one so we can just select like the select keep holding control select select so we have three four five um six and seven so now we apply sd subhead on this so again gonna go to list sd subhead and we apply on this you can see here all the subheadings have been center lined and have been um, formatted according to the style okay question 10 change the page layout so that the subheading why is a stem approach to learning important and all the following text is displayed in two columns of equal width with one centimeter space in between them okay so below this we have to make it to Two columns so for making it to columns what you have to do is go to layout click on columns and click on more columns make it to two and spacing set as spacing set as what does it say in the question equal one centimeter space so one centimeter are we supposed to take screenshot of this? No. So just click 
Okay. So you can see everything is in two column now. And it's it's um, separated with one centimeter space. Okay. Locate the table and insert a new row above chemistry. Enter the following data into the row. Biology, 50 and 40. Okay. Uh, Where is the table? Table is here. Chemistry. You just click on plus icon. Write biology. 50, 40. Okay. Question 12 says, merge the cells and center line the text in the first row of the table. So you go here. You can see the first row. Just select this. Right click here and merge cells. Now it says to center align it as well. So we're going to center align the first row. Here you go. Next it says apply the ST table style to row 2 to 9 of the table. Make sure no data is wrapped within the table. All guidelines are displayed when printed. All border data fits within the column width. There are six point spaces after the table. So you select this from second to nine. Add ST table on that. We'll just go to the list. At this point, okay, ST table. And then we have to make sure there's a space between the last uh, table and the sentence, which is six points. So as we cannot add spaces after the table, what you can do is table design. I don't think you can add spaces. No, we cannot. Okay. You select the sentence, go to paragraph, click here on the smart arrow. Uh, go to spacing and we need before to be as six as well. So we just change before because they're saying after the table, it should be six points. So it's going to be before the line and click. Okay. You can see there's now six, six point space in between. Okay. Question 14 says import the image thus and place it in the paragraph beginning with the gender disparity will the gender disparity okay now where is will the gender disparity just click on search will the gender okay this this is the text where we have to add the image so you click here on start of the paragraph go to insert pictures this device go locate the picture um, most probably it's going to be on my desktop so I'm going to go desktop revision and you can see here sign this picture is there so I'll just double click on this and it's here okay reflect the image so the laboratory flask is on right so what you do is grab the picture from here and pull it to the left or you can just click on rotate and flip horizontally okay so towards the right yes it's correct okay uh, format the image so it is resized to the height of two centimeters with the aspect ratio maintained it is aligned left to the column margin on top of the paragraph starting with the gender disparity and text wraps around the image so what you have to do is go to double click on the picture here go to size section click on the arrow now you can see here um, it, this should be checked log aspect ratio it should be checked click on this click ok go and change the height from here to two centimeter so two centimeter it's gonna change now so it should be left aligned to the column it's left aligned and it should be wrapping the text around so how do you wrap the text around click on this picture and you'll get this option here click on it 
and you can see here with text wrapping it should be around so we can select this one um fight so now you can see all the texts around the image okay and we get two marks for this now the last question says for this paper that spell check and proofread the document make sure the table and list are not split over two columns or pages columns aligned at the top there are no widows or orphan there's no blank pages styles are applied consistently and spacing is consistent be between all items save the document using the same file name and format used in step one and print the document okay so now what we do is um there should be no widow or orphan what do you mean by widow you can see here we have widow here it's actually called widow it's not a widow because it has two lines so it's fine okay everything seems fine to me yeah everything is fine okay no blank spaces styles are applied consistently i mean everything is fine now so what we do is save this file Control s Control s again and print it go to file print and choose the printer which you have i'm just gonna print it to microsoft pdf because i don't have a printer connected right now and it should automatically print right now it will not ask for this so you just print it out okay and We are done with the first section. Um, if you like this video, just give it a thumbs up. Um, share this video with your classmates. And subscribe the channel as well. Uh, make sure if you have any comments, any questions, just comment down below. I'll try to respond as soon as possible. But till then, bye-bye. See you in the next video.